William Creighton and Lauren Pellier staged an epic fight for victory in Sweden, resulting in one of the championship's closest ever finishes. It started with the Red Barn Arena stage opening Rally Sweden on Thursday evening, with Creighton taking the first Wolf stage win point of the year. The Irishman then opened his Friday with a clean sweep of stage wins on the morning loop to shoot ahead into the lead. Gregor Munster had encouraging pace on Friday, running second, but a small off on stage four dropped him to third. 2022 European Junior Champion Laurent Pellier was competing on snow and ice for the first time, having never driven the Fiesta Rally 3 before. Despite a sluggish start, the Frenchman ended Friday in second with a rapid rate of progression in pace. Out front by 34 and a half seconds was Creighton at the end of Friday, leading the day from start to finish and notching an impressive six Wolf stage win points. The podium position switched on Saturday with a new leader emerging at the end of the day. Creighton extended his lead to 50 seconds after the first stage on Saturday, maintaining his lead for the rest of the loop. Munster took back-to-back -back Wolf stage win points on stages nine and 10. But at the start of the afternoon loop, he collided with a snowbank and dropped to fourth. Paraguayan Diego Dominguez delivered consistent and competitive times on Saturday, and for his efforts, he found himself in a comfortable podium position at the conclusion of the day. Pellier began his fight back in the afternoon on Saturday, chasing down Creighton's huge lead. The Frenchman knocked 8.4 seconds out of Creighton's lead on stage 12 before drama descended on Junior WRC. It was disaster for Creighton. An almost one minute lead and all his hard work came undone after his bonnet flung open mid-stage, forcing him to stop and to secure it back in place. Creighton lost 51.1 seconds and with it, the lead. Yeah, the, the bonnet came up during the stage, so um, yeah, we need to go fix it. Three stages separated Laurent Pellier from victory on Sunday and for William Crichton, it was three stages and a 19.7 second deficit. Creighton bolted like a stabbed rat on Sunday's opening stage, rinsing Pellier's lead down to just 6.1 seconds. We will see, we will keep the fight and uh, even uh, it's not finished yet, so we will see. Creighton eclipsed Pellier with another fastest stage time to move into the lead by 2.7 seconds. The final stage was go hard or go home for both drivers. Pellier had to beat Creighton to win and Creighton needed to stay ahead of Pellier. Pellier had the upper hand, going 1.7 seconds faster on the first split, and then 2.7 seconds on the last split. 300 kilometers of competitive action, and the top two were neck and neck with just one kilometer remaining. A last gasp effort meant full send for Creighton in the Red Barn Arena section, not lifting over the jumps and putting everything into chasing a maiden career victory in Junior WRC. He crossed the finish line, and by a whisker, he won the rally clawing back enough time in the final kilometre to win the rally by just six tenths of a second. But yeah, I honestly, I, I can't believe it. Um, and I have to say thank you to so many people. Um, we've been in this championship for two years now. Uh, Motorsport Iron Rally Academy, my own family, DGM. Um, yeah, I'm really happy for everybody involved. And looking at the top five classification for the rally, William Creighton wins Junior WRC Rally Sweden, Lauren Pellier second, just six tenths behind, Diego Dominguez third, Greg Wilmonster fourth, and Raul Hernandez fifth. And in the Wolf stage win points table, William Creighton storming ahead with nine, Lauren Pellier second with six, and Greg Wilmonster third with three. In the championship, Creighton storms ahead with 34 points, Lauren Pellier second with 24. Diego Dominguez tied with Gregoire Munster on 15 points and Raul Hernandez rounds out the top five with 10.